Hi, welcome to Hikate Crossing, Crossing. I'm Paula, by the way, and I've just been recommended this movie called The Changeover by Ultraviolet. So thank you for um, telling me about this movie. I have absolutely enjoyed it. I thought it was absolutely awesome. Now, I sort of want to talk about this um, video. One, because it was made in New Zealand. Two, it was post-earthquake um, in Christchurch. It's a Christchurch um, movie, so that's quite cool. Um, that is down in the South Island. I'm up in here in the North Island. Um, so I just want to sort of tell that difference. And the fact is that it is the South Island in Christchurch. And it is a post-earthquake um, movie. Now, it's about a teenage girl who looks after her brother and something happens to her brother and she connects to someone who assists her in understanding what she can do to help her brother in some way. So I'm just going to show some quick snippets of the um movie just some really quick snippets and sort of i'll talk a little bit in between this now it begins the movie with her spinning laughing with her friend on one of those things in the kids in the park children's park that spins you around she's laughing she's surrounded by a whole heap of friends or people that she knows um and so let's begin with that Okay, from here she gets up and she notices someone. Now she looks at this person before she gets up and moves away to um, see what happens next anyway. So she gets up, she, well, she looks up and she sees someone in particular. Now who is she looking at? This is the connection that's really important here. This is sort of the beginning of the connection. So you need to really watch the movie to see a bit more because I don't really want to give it, give it away. So you'll see if you notice who that connection actually is. <laughs> Okay, this next bit, when she's picked up her little brother, they're sort of jumping around and that sort of thing. And she's talking about her belief in regards to her sensitivity, what she's capable of. Um, I found this really interesting um, aspect. I just love listening to what, you know, these sort of things as something's been said. So I thought this was really, really cool. Oops, I feel like that's getting a bit, um, there we go. Okay, so I thought that was quite an interesting part of the video. The world is much stranger than that. I feel in my bones when something bad is going to happen. I can't explain it. It was something I was born with. Like another sense. The earthquake broke our city. It broke our family too. My name is Laura Chant. 
I look after my little brother, Jacob. Dad said when he first handed him to me, you got to promise to look after him if something happens. Something did happen. Okay, so she, so something happens to her brother, and so something really does happen, and so she ends up for some reason at this place, and she talks to the young man of the house, and once she's spoken to the young man, and they've had their discussion, their whatever they've been talking about, I'm not going to go into details there because I want you to watch it to find out, but basically I, um, sorry, she walks out and she talks to this elderly woman, and I love what this elderly woman says to her. In the end, help has to come from within. Okay, you can see that the um, tarot cards are laid out um, for a reading here. Okay, so let's sort of lay them out in what we call a counter cross. Okay, now let me turn the cards over. So let's do the first card here. And what it's influenced by. So let's have a look. Just pulling these cards out. And you can see that she actually pulls out a card. There we are. Let's see what's said in regards to this. I see that you've met my mother. Went to Carlisle. Sorry, his grandmother. You saw that. Not everyone can. What did you mean help has to come from inside? Did you mean that there was some way I could help my brother? What does this card mean to you, Laura? I followed the moon to find you. Why won't you tell me? You're what we call a sensitive. You feel things at a deeper level. Does that mean that I can help Jacko? A sensitive can become a witch. That's what a changeover is. It's too dangerous. She can't. Okay. Okay, due to um, challenges and things going on in the story with her brother, things actually start to happen and she has to sort of deal with some emotional stuff that's going on she's sort of got to make some decisions within things and she ends up deciding to do this changeover so she decides that this is the best way that she's going to save her brother is by doing a changeover so what does that entail you need to watch the movie to find out but here's a little bit of a snippet of some of the things she went through during her changeover okay looking within to change within herself interesting here i love what happens i sort of can understand the symbolic the symbolic um nature of what she went through symbolically interesting <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so as she's going through the changeover, she experiences different things and discovers different aspects and how she deals with it and what she chooses to do. So this is another little part of that changeover aspect of it. Now, I don't really want to show you the end of what actually happens, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So anyway, basically, this is some more of that changeover experience that she actually went through here. <laughs> crossways of many lines of space and time. There are many possible paths and many possible laws. Only one of you can finish. Sister, you will not know what you're looking for. You have to journey into yourself to change yourself. Destroy the Put your own I get too excited I forget to push record okay so the moon card was her card all about facing her fears all about dealing with the cycles the emotions the um, just dealing with everything with the moon card the moon card lighted to um, lit her way the moon lit her way it was all part of the changing changing the changeover process as well so interesting to see the moon card as part of this um movie as well in so many ways i just loved sorry i'm just raving now i absolutely thought it was you know for a movie okay it not might not be a big blockbuster movie with being here in new zealand we don't have big blockbuster movies like you do in america and things like that but I thought for a New Zealand movie, I thought it was quite good. The um, the talking about witches and things like that were not about spell work and a whole lot of crazy stuff. And even though there was a couple of little bits and pieces in there that were quite cool, um, it was mainly about looking within oneself and creating that change that you need to do to be empowered. That empowerment comes from within oneself, facing one's own fears, um, moving through new cycles, acknowledging your emotions, dealing with emotions and things like that. I thought that was the, the overall message, the sensitive message, the message about the sensitives, how as an empath, we can... Um, connect with others emotions and our own emotions and how that it can affect us that we can sort of feel like where do those emotions begin and end sort of thing it's um it's all about that sense of sensitivity in regard to the energy around us I really resonated with so many aspects of what was said in the movie I thought that was really really interesting anyway so anyone who's watched it love to hear your thoughts Go and watch it. Definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, I found it absolutely awesome movie. Um, changeover, the changeover. This was set in Christchurch, New Zealand. This was post-earthquake. So I thought it was an absolutely awesome movie and totally recommend it i have felt it had a lot of stuff that really resonated as a witch as that sense of spiritual tarot reader um all those things sort of came into play and i just thought they were so so interesting in regards to looking within to create that change and how that um that can
can be quite um, emotional and it can be quite, um, it's a lot of work, it's hard work looking within. So anyway, that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell. If so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care. Blessed be.